Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Before we will proceed to our today's topic, there is one good news for all that we have launched our Salesforce admin training course. This course is for both beginners as well as for the advanced level expert. You can also watch this even if you don't have any knowledge about the Salesforce. We have covered up the 9 plus module with 21 plus hour of HD videos in which we have covered both Lightning as well as the classic user interface. We start up with the introduction to the Salesforce and the CRM essentials. We have also let you know about the Salesforce release cycle with the Salesforce edition and the pricing packages too. We also let you know how you can navigate yourself to Salesforce Lightning to the classic and create a free developer account in Salesforce too. We have covered up all the essential features of the Salesforce Lightning interface. Even we have let you know how you can create a user, manage the user, even you can activate, deactivate and create or reset the password of the user. If we talk about the security, we also let you know about the object level security, field level security, record level security and also let you know how you can share the things with uh, other Salesforce admins. And if we move ahead, we also let you know about how you can create an app with objects and the tab and with its essential features. We have covered up each and every field that are available in Salesforce with some of its functions and the formula in both Lightning as well as a classic user interface. If we move to the advanced topic of a Salesforce, we have let you know about how you can create a custom buttons to the links to the action pages and the page layouts and the list view. We also let you know about the schema builder to the process builder and the validation rules so you can also automate the process executions and the do the automation things we also let you know how you can use the reports and dashboard to visualize your data inside in Salesforce easily if we are dealing up with the bulk of a data you are dealing up with the millions of a data we have let you know about the data import wizard tools and the data loader so you can use it to insert to delete to update and to create uh, all the data in a one go so this course is for the Salesforce admin. Even if you don't have any knowledge, you can go with that course. This is a totally 100% self-paced video module. You can go and watch any where when you get a time according to your preference. Even we are letting you go, uh, give the PDF material so you can easily grasp the things e at the end. We also give you the certification once you complete that course and this course is available at the 50% of discount right now with the lifetime assess. And one of the most best feature of this course is that we are giving you a one to one doubt clear session with interview preparations and the internship opportunity. So now let's move back to our today's topic. So today we are going to learn about the BR function in Salesforce and this function we are going to learn in both Salesforce Lighting as well as the class user interface. So let's firstly understand what does we mean by the BR function in Salesforce. So BR function is one of the text function of a Salesforce that is used to insert an HTML break tag in a string formula. In addition to this, it keeps one thing in the mind while using it. You can use AND or plus uh, operator as a concatenation operator to surround them, the BR. And this function uh, should not be used in the mail merge templates or S control and reports also. If we talk about the syntax, the syntax is given on your screen. Here we simply need to pass the BRF without any value to it. So let's see how we can use this VR function in Salesforce Lightning as well as the classic user interface. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in the Lightning. If you are not on the Lightning one, firstly redirect yourself to the Lightning one. Then I move to redirect myself to the main home setup page of the lighting interface. I click on the gear icon and click on the setup option. Once I click on that, it will take me to the page of the object manager or a main home setup page where I will get a tab of object manager on the top of the navigation bar. I click on that. It will take me to the page where I will see the list of all the objects that are present in Salesforce. Now it's time to choose the object on which you want to use the BR tag. I want to use the BR tag for the camping one. So here I search for the camping as a object in the quick find box. Once I get it down, I click on it. And once I click on it, I click on a fields and relationship options given next to that particular thing. And I click on that and it will show me the page on the right side with the new button. I click on that also. After that, it asks me to enter the field labels. Uh, sorry, after that, it asks me to choose the 
field type that I want to work it on. So I am going to choose as the formula one because I am going to use up the functions. Next it asks me to choose the field label as per my requirement. So I enter the field label as the camping details because I am going to use this tag for the camping details. And once I click on a field name it get automatically populated and next thing is asks me to choose the formula return type. I choose the text as a return one and click on the next button to proceed to the next step once i move to the next step it will ask me to create a function according to my requirement so for this i firstly use the br tag so i click on the all function categories given on the right side and move to the text as a category now here i choose the br as a function and click on the insert selected function to insert it on the formula editor and create a function according to my requirement so let's just create me a function and then i will explain you how it's working on then I click on a check syntax to see how it's uh, working on it is finally correct. So I will explain you here basically I am printing the camping details such as name, start date and the end date with a line break in each detail. So to the break the line I and insert a new line we use the br function in salesforce and we also use the and operator to concatenate the two text value together. In addition to this I use the text function to convert the date type to the text type field and if you don't uh, do it it will produce an error so it's very necessary to change it to the text one so if you want to add any uh, description or help text you can also do that here just a second uh, start spelling is incorrect let me correct it okay now it's fine i click on an x button to proceed to the next step and uh, once i move to the next one it asks me to choose the profile to which i want to grant the edit test for the particular field some of them i'm already checked if you want to revoke it you can uncheck them and if you want to give some permission you can check the checkboxes given in the visible column and click on the next button here you need to uh, choose the page layout where you uh, want to include that particular page uh, field and the field will not be appear on any page if you don't select it and click on a save button to finally save it once i click on a save button it successfully saved these things and uh, now if you want to check it how it is working on you need to click on the app launcher and here you need to search for the camping as object and uh, here i am searching and click on it once i get it down and now you need to edit the already existing one to let you see how it's working on so here i have the one i click on it and it will redirect it me to the details section of that particular page i click on that details and once I move to that, I scroll down and here you can see that this is the camping detail. The camping name is given. Here is the camping name. Their start date and the end date. And you can see that each of the thing is coming in the separated line because of the help of a BR tag. So this is the working of the BR tag in a Salesforce lighting. To let you see how it's working on a Salesforce Classic, I click on my profile and click on a switch to a Salesforce Classic to redirect myself to the Classic interface. Once I click on that, it will take me to the Classic. Now I click on a setup option given on the top right side. I click on that and it will take me to the Classic setup page. Now I scroll down to the build section. I expand the customize one and search for the object on which I want to use it. I am going to show you the example for this time of context. So I click on that drop down given next to it and click on the fields option. Once I click on a field it will take me to the page. Now I scroll down to the contact custom fields and relationship and click on the new button. Once I click on a new it will ask me to choose the formula type as a field because I am going to use the function in the formula and click on the next button. Once I click on the next one it will take me to the next page. Here I need to enter the field label. So here I enter the field label as a contact personal detail. So once you click on a field name it get automatically populated based upon the field label that you have added. And now the next thing you choose to formula return type. I choose the text as a formula return type and click on the next button. Once I click on a next, it will take me to the page where I need to create a formula for that and for using the BR function, I click on all function category from the right side, choose the text as a category and select the BR and click on the insert selected function. Now let's create me the function, then I will explain you. Here I enter up my formula and click on a check syntax to see if there is any error in it or not. There is a no error. Basically here I am printing the contact details such as the first name, birth date and the languages in a line break in each detail. So to break the line and insert a new line I use the br function and to concatenate I use the concatenate operator that is a and. And I also use the text function because I want to convert the date type of the birth date to the text one.
if you don't do that it will produce you an error so it's very necessary to use the text function to convert it to the text one the next thing you need to click on the next button and in the next step you need to choose up the profile to which you want to grant the edit access for the particular field via field level security the field will be hidden from all the profile if you don't want to add it to the field level security and for after that you need to click on the next button once i click on the next you need to select the page layout that should be included the field and the field will be added as the last field in the first two column section of the page layout other than that the field will not be appeared on any page if you don't select the page layout and after that you finally need to click on a save button once i click on a save button it successfully created up the formula now to check it how it's working on let's open a context as object and edit the already existing one here i am editing this one and I'll let you know how it's working i scroll down here you can see that it is a uh, printing as a contact detail for the person name as a bill date of birth is not printing and language is set to the unknown because here i have not passed any language to it if i am passing it to the english let's see how it's working on and uh, click on a save now it's giving you the language as a english and you can see that it will gives you the things in the break like a name then the next line date of birth and the next line is a language which is a english okay so with this we have successfully learned how you can use the br function in salesforce lighting as well as a classic user interface so if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day